he literally texts me as I'm walking to the taxi rank. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. You know what to do and let's get into it. Okay guys, this is a story time of when I was in college. I'm not going to say the name of the college. I'm not going to say too much, okay? So as you've seen already by the title and thumbnail, this is a story time of when my lecturer, he hit on me and this is the story i got to the college right and i knew no one like i literally knew no one and i get there and i'm still trying to figure things out you know hanging around here and there and i find these like i find people who are doing the same course as i am because i did financial management so i found like i found people who did the same course as me luckily they were ahead of me so they were older and they were literally talking about, you know, gossip, college gossip, campus gossip there. They're like, oh my God, there's this lecturer. You know him, like busy chatting there. You know him. Like even the guys are just like, you know him with these girls. He'd be charming these girls, blah, blah, blah. And literally I was not listening because like I was not listening. I was just in my, like in my own head. Like I was just in my own thoughts. But I was sitting with them and they were talking about this person and I was hearing what they were saying. I just wasn't listening. And... Because because I wasn't listening, I didn't get the name of the lecturer at the time. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. It's not my business. I'm just that type of person. So, I find my class fine. And then, everything is good, guys. Like, I'm enjoying it, you know. As the year was progressing, we had to move. Like, move, like, to a different campus. Because, for some reason, they moved our... I think that they move. I think they moved commerce. Like, the entire commerce faculty they moved it to a different location in the same area though so fine we're moving there we like we move and then we go okay i sense this this friendliness that i'm just like okay cool it's fine you know um uh, maybe it's maybe he just likes me maybe i'm just you know you like you don't just jump in like jump into conclusions of like oh he wants me i was just like okay he maybe he just likes me i'm like i'm quiet i'm shy i'm to myself and maybe he just likes me you know it, it happens in like for you to meet someone you just like them you know what i mean and i don't want to think that i'll just say oh maybe he likes me just based off of the looks and the conversations uh, all of that fine and then we move back to our original campus it was close i was close to finishing we went to school one time we go to campus right and then we're sitting as a class and he's not there i don't know whether he was not there or there was like a, like i don't know but then he was involved like there was something that was happening and we needed information from him right so we're waiting then we're chilling as a group and oh no, no no before that so we wrote exams right we wrote exams after writing i remember him asking for my number but then he asked for it in such a weird way because we were writing right and he was there and then when i left like when i was done and i got up to leave i go up to his desk i don't know if we were writing an exam or just a test or something and i get up to leave and i put the like the test in front of him like on like the rest of the 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 the, the papers and like he just basically like signals like oh i i want to tell you something so i get down like close to him to hear what he's saying because he's seated he's seated i'm standing he was seated and i was standing and he's like I want to tell you some basically like let me tell you something and then i like i went down closer to him like i just bent down a bit so i could be close to him and i could hear him you know it's normal it's an exam room he can't be allowed so i'm like close getting close to him and then he's like oh he's like can i please have your number but then he was so low that i couldn't even hear him like he was so low now that i think about it like he was a, like he was just he didn't want to be heard so he's like can i have your number and I'm like, what? And I'm like, no, I'm just like, he made me feel guilty about it. And he was like, 
because I was like, I, I couldn't hear him. And I was like looking at him like, but I feel like he thought I heard him and he thought my reaction was, but I didn't hear him. So I was like, like, what are you saying? And he felt embarrassing. He was like, no, I'm just asking for your number. You know what I'm saying? It, like, he just, yeah, he made me feel guilty about it. He was like, I was just asking you for your number. Like, he made it like, oh, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, no, I, I hadn't heard you. And then I just, oh, cool. And then I write my number down. And then I leave. So in my head, I'm just like, oh, okay. It's whatever. In my head, I'm just like, he did that with Irvine, okay? In my head, I'm just like... He just wants our number. He's our lecturer. You know what I'm saying? We need to be in contact with him and whatever. I leave. I go home. His class was there. And like my classmates were there chilling. We're just like, what's going on? What's going on? And then I'm just like, I can text him. I have his number. And then another chick goes, no, in my head, I'm just like, why can't we text him? And they're like, we don't have his number. And I'm like, like I was afraid to say because then I was like, oh like i'm the only one who has his number this is so weird and then i'm just like um um i can text him i have his number and then another chick goes i have his number too you know the looks they're like mm, of course you have his number he wants you <laughs> what like what like what <laughs> what <laughs> then the girl's like um you have his number because he wants you I was like, he don't want me. He is married. He's a man of God. He doesn't do that type of shit. Like, I was just like, the fuck? Like, no, he does not want me. He doesn't, you know? Like, I liked him so much as a lecturer. Like, I was enjoying accounting. I was enjoying, guys. I was just enjoying, you know? And it was just, he's a good lecturer. Like, he's a teacher. He doesn't lecture. He teaches. So... Um, I really liked his classes and I liked his way of teaching and he was like, I see you, you know what I'm saying? I felt like he appreciated my appreciation of him and his teaching and you know what I'm saying? But I guess it was something else because yeah, this girl goes, he wants you. And I'm just like, nah, nah, he doesn't want me. He's married. He talks about his kids and we know, like he doesn't talk about his wife. But we know, I know he's married because of a friend, you know what I'm saying? Of like my friend who's in the same class. They go to church together and I'm just like, nah. Like he goes to church with someone in the class and this person knows everything about him. He's not going to do that in front of that person, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I was just like, nah, man, he doesn't want me, you guys. He's married, he's a good man, okay? You know, I was just like, nah, cool. They're like, okay, cool. And then I was done with my course. Well, I was done with classes, final exam time. You know, lecturers change. You know, we don't see him as much. And also he was tutoring UNISA students. So, you know, we started seeing less and less of him. But after I, was it after I graduated? No, it was when I, I was done. You know what I'm saying? I was done. We're obviously waiting for graduation and he texts me hi how are you i'm like i'm cool and then he's like are you lesbian and i'm like am i lesbian am i lesbian <laughs> i was like no i'm not lesbian why 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 are you asking me that yeah he's like no I really like you and I would like to ask you out. We could go out for some coffee and I'm just like. So they were right. He asked me out. You know me, like I am, I am unwillingly guys, literally. I was like, I thought like, I, I really respected this man guys. I really did. I was just like so disappointed in him. I was like, literally the whole time I was talking to him, I was referring to him as sir. I was literally like, sir, one, two, three. No, sir, one, two, three. Like, literally, like, I wasn't playing those games, guys. Like, you gotta let them know my lume born. <laughs> so I'm just like, what? Say, 
what and he's like no i thought she was lesbian I, I explained to him because i did this intentionally i explained to him no um i'm not sh i'm not surprised that you would think i'm lesbian i dressed that way to confuse the enemy you know what i'm saying i was yeah i dressed that way to confuse the enemy so i wasn't dressing i wasn't very feminine in my style of clothing i was very if i can find old pictures i'll show you i was just you couldn't confirm like you couldn't confirm me no yeah you'd be like eh. Because a lot of guys go campus will literally be like, are you a stoner? Like, they wouldn't straight up ask me if I was lesbian. They'd be like, are you a stoner? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Then what's up with the dreadlocks and how you style them and how you... And I'm just like, I'm not a stoner. It's not that I was trying to do it. It's just that it's how... It's the kind of style I like. I shopped in the men's section a lot. So I would wear baggy pants like i would literally wear like guy clothes in a feminine way um sometimes i would literally look like a complete girl like lip red lipstick and everything so i was just confusing like so that you can't hit on me because you don't know <laughs> you don't know like you don't know so you're not gonna bother me because you don't know there was only one guy who knew um, because I was just like, what the hell? No, like, you know what I'm saying? So, and then he was like, oh, he's like, you, you're confusing us. So he uh, like, is the only one who literally was like, I'm into you. But otherwise I was confusing them guys. So I explained this to him, like, no, um, no, I'm doing this. I was like, well, I was doing this because I just didn't want that kind of attention. It, it worked it worked so yeah but i'm not lesbian to answer your question no i'm not lesbian it was just to confuse the enemy and he's like oh yeah i just like you blah 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 and then i'm just like so i really respect you but you know what you is married like you are married i can't do, like i'm not gonna do this like never mind the fact that you look like my father you could be my father but you are married and i know that and now I'm just like questioning everything you did in the class, like everything. I'm just like questioning every conversation we ever had. Like I just explained to it. Like I'm just like, yo, you're married, and I'm not that girl. And he was like, oh no. Like he he did that thing where they make you feel guilty. Like, um, because then I was like trying to explain to him, like, no, I can't do this. Like I respect you. You're married. The real like, no, I can't do this. And he's like are you like are you saying no or what like are you i'm just asking you out for coffee and i was just like no if i was not clear enough my first response i'm saying no i will not go out with you cool time goes on now i'm going back to school to get my results right he sees me and i'm just like I think he was he was an HOD man. He was also an HOD, uh, like faculty's HOD. So I'm just like, I hope not. Like I don't want to see him, you know. And then yeah, he walks past there. And I'm standing there and just like, I know I'm gonna get a text as I walk out of the school, but great. I get my results. I leave. He texts me again. He literally texts me as I'm walking to the taxi rank. He texts me and he's like, um, I think he said, you look beautiful today or something. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he's like, vele, vele, mix. And I'm just like, nothing. This is not happening. Like, no. Like, like looking back at it, I'm just like, I would go to class and find him with it was a weird setup because it was remember I said like there was another studio so it was just like two students who had his numbers it was me and this other girl and I would find her and her friend in her class in his class after classes and after he hit on me I was just like yo because in class he would do things when I look back at it, it was just like, was he trying to make me jealous? Like he was literally doing things. It was me and this girl. And I feel like he was trying to 
play us against one another in a, in a sense that we know that he wants both of us and then we would compete for his attention because in class i'm not that person who wants your attention like i don't like as long as i get what i'm supposed to do then i'm gonna do it i as long as i'm not gonna be like hey <clears throat> hi i'm not and the other girl was like struggling a bit and he would obviously give more attention to her but then the way he did it like it was very weird it was just so weird it was weird and it just felt like he was trying to pin us against each other but like at the time i was just look at it like obviously because i didn't know like i didn't know he wanted me when i was in his class and everyone knew it so i guess maybe he thought it was obvious but he never did anything like like i suspected because people were telling me but he never did anything to make it obvious you know what i'm saying he never asked me out he never looked at me you know like he never made it obvious like oh i want you i just was suspecting because of other people and maybe they saw things i didn't see um but otherwise looking back at it i'm just like yo i was naive like i was so dumb like i was so dumb that like because then he would do things that would literally be like i like you but i was just not there like i was not guys i was just not into you know i just don't want to date nobody i didn't want i just want to go to school go home that's it like i didn't care like i really did not care all i cared about was that he was a good lecturer and like you find lectures that literally make you fall asleep i had a, a, a lecturer who made me fall asleep and it happened to be a woman i don't know why and like i don't know what's wrong with female lecturers but they are so boring anyway i digress um he did not make me sleep and i was appreciative of the fact that he taught me the most important subject which is accounting and he was not making me sleep in accounting because i liked accounting and i enjoyed it and he like he kept that energy and the fire in me alive because he also enjoyed it and he loved it and can't you know there are other things anyway, anywho that's the story of my lecturer kind of almost maybe he did maybe he did he did in the dms right but never in person man it's a sad world he was married guys and he had two young kids like little babies like little cute little primary school kids and i was just like but how but i said no to him like both times i said no to him he tried to make me feel guilty i was like nope and obviously i was just like does that mean i can't use him as a reference like <laughs> i was just like um i still use them as a reference like, I was just like, nah, you are not gonna screw with my CV. Like, you are going to be my number one reference. Because if anything, you know my potential in this field. You know. You you know for sure. You know what I'm saying? You know better than anybody what I'm capable of. So you will be number one. And I knew for sure that he wouldn't badmouth me because, you know, obviously he wanted me at some point. Anyway, that was my story time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I wish I could kiss you in person and hug you. And 